So here is the plow mount. And there's all the hardware. So this looks like there's a instruction manual in here underneath these massive fucking brackets. So let's get under the truck and see what we got here. Okay, so I just wanted to show you this is where the factory tow hooks would come out if I had them. I don't. Um, you see here, this was already notched. I'm hoping I don't have to notch it anymore, but we shall see. Here is the frame mount for the truck. This is where the plow mounts are going to go in, and we'll show you guys how you put the U bracket in there and mount the rest of it up. So we have all the hardware. That's the driver's side. Here is the passenger side. And yeah, so let's get the ball roll. Here's the U mount bracket. This gotta go in in the frame. Line up the holes, and you got the shorter bolts that go one on each side, and washer and nut in the middle. So I'll try and get this all up while holding up this big monster bracket. Mount like this on the inside, bolt those bolts. Let me show you guys what I'm dealing with back here. So, first, I had to weasel the bolt through, through the head, and then slide the washer on. I'll just show you. Here's that again. So, you got the bolt and the washer. Both of these have to go through. Just slide the washer on, flat side towards you. Get this. And you're just going to angle it down until you get it into the hole. It's gonna be a little hard to get all of this on camera. There you go. Now this slides up. And we're gonna do another washer. Alright guys, so in there you can see the two bolts on either side, left and right, okay? So that one and the one next to it. See the one on the bottom there, okay? That one you have to slide through the frame rail, a washer and bolt, and then mount it up on this side, right here, this screw, fish the bolt through, and through the frame rail, um... Hold it with a wrench. Absolute fucking nightmare. Terrible fucking design. But that's how it is. Eventually I did get it in. I didn't get it all on film because I was fighting it for a while. But the driver's side mount is in. I got to trim a little bit more of the plastic here. Just to make it a little flush. I'm going to trim it probably out to right about here. And Because on this side for the shoe, the shoe slides in. And then you have the cotter pin on this side to actually hold the mount in so yeah that's basically it and then obviously that big bolt over there that we went through the uh with the control arm mounts to but yeah that's the driver's side done so let's jump over to passenger side basically the exact same thing i'm gonna put the brackets in start here now i know from that side i'm gonna leave this side off and <clears throat> this way i can get the wrenches in so i can get this is the actual other hole that we had to fish up through the bottom of this so right through there and then the back part of the mount bolts into here which is going to be the same thing 
I said there's slightly more room on that side to fish the bolt through. Um, yeah, so let's get this side mounted up. All right, let me show you guys. So I had to put the bolt on a adjustable. I know you can't see anything in there, but I put the bolt on an adjustable wrench, slid the washer through, put the bolt in from underneath down here, the nut on the adjustable wrench, and now I can just tighten it up from the bottom. So you got that bolt in, you're going to put the other two bolts on the sides and then tighten up that last bottom one over there and you're all set. So let's get this buttoned up. Okay, so that's the conclusion of the video uh, for the truck side. We're gonna get here are the shoes for the plow. So obviously these are used. You can see they're bent, cracked. Probably end up getting new ones because these are a little skinny. So I have some room to play. I could get some wider ones, make it a little easier to mount up my plow. And yeah, so basically. This slot goes onto that prong right there. So this cross beam, and then you put the pin through here like this. Get it on that side, and you got cotter pin and another cotter pin on this side. So again, I have some room to play with. Maybe I'll get newer mounts. Maybe I'll run them this year. See how it is. But yeah, so that's the end of it. Uh, stay tuned for part two. We're going to do the truck side wiring for the Western plow. So thank you guys for watching. Take care.